This is Fire Beta. You'll notice that when you uh, double click on a hold type, you not only get capillary, which is what used to be the case, but you'll see some other options here. So there's the heat activated um, sampling point and the refrigerated unit. But what I want to talk about at the moment is this drop pipe. So a drop pipe is basically a bit like a capillary, but where it's using a regular pipe. And this is often used by running, say, a pipe above the ceiling and having drop pipes that then drop down to ceiling level. So if I select this here, um, you'll notice I get, because it is a normal pipe, I'll actually see a section underneath here that corresponds to, it's got an end cap, so all intents and purposes it looks like another pipe. Now there's something special about drop pipes, and that is they can, because they are very similar capillaries, they can use um, a mathematical, um, not really shortcut, but a, a way of expressing the equation that converges very quickly. And so we can have basically unlimited number of drop pipes. But drop pipes, even though they're, they're based on the same components as a bend, as a branch, um, are different in that they only have one sampling point. As soon as I put another sampling point in here, put one there, you notice it changes to branch. And it goes great, which means we can't no longer can so go back up here, no longer can I toggle this back to being a hole. It's no longer acting as a sampling point because it's actually got two sampling points. And since you've got branches and not drop pipes, you've got a restriction of about six or seven layers of branching. Um, and after that, we make no guarantees about the solution converging. So feel free to use lots of drop pipes, but be careful about using branches. So if we go back to here, we remove this hole. Oh, let's do that again. Move that hole there. You'll see this now returns to being a drop pipe. Um, we can have bends, we can have other components in there. As long as they're not sampling points, it'll still stay as a drop pipe. And you'll notice that if I change the end cap size here to say a two and a half, this changes as well. But this is really just uh, giving that essentially the hole that this is referring to is really the hole of the end cap. So just like, just think of it as like a capillary. So if I were to toggle this to a capillary, you'd see that a lot of the features stay very similar. So, so, um, so just be aware that if drop pipes are quite a useful thing, but they need to be treated as basically equivalent of a capillary. You don't put more than one sample point in those drop pipes and that includes the end caps. If you've got an end cap you can't put any more um, holes unless you block up that end cap. And if we look at the um, 3D view you will see that here's our drop pipe here. It just acts like, so if I to go back in here and we make this a drop pipe as well, you'll see, um, and let's just use our fill down to make these next two drop pipes as well. And you can see how we've turned these holes into just essentially small pipes with end caps on the end of them. Um, so, and because they are just a sample point, then you can always go and swap them back to being a hole or turn them into a capillary. Um, that they're all treated as being interchangeable. So there's one other subtlety with drop pipes, and, and that is if we go up here to um, our, our groups, if we create uh, use end caps to reduce transport time, and we look at our groups, there's a default end cap group. But you'll notice that um, 
that these end caps here are associated with the drop pipes not in that group because the default end cap group as you'll remember is used purely not for sensing the smoke but just purely to speed up the transport whereas the drop pipe end caps are being used as sensors as sampling points and so that's why we don't put them in this group here so one thing you'll notice too is if I go and select something in this group it appears in the table so and similarly if I'm not quite sure what a row in the table corresponds to I can click it here and I can see where it is in a 3D view so both these things are linked anyhow that should give you a bit of a feel of what drop pipes are about and how drop pipes differ from branches and that's quite an important distinction to remember with a spire beta